Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. I hope you guys are doing amazing. How are you guys doing? All right, so this spell is for anyone. It does not matter how experienced you are or how much lack thereof of experience you have. Anyone can do it. This is like idiot proof. Anyone can do it. The results are immaculate. They're very quick, fast lightning results. Um, and the ingredients are not that elaborate. You're going to be uh, surprised how easy and effective this spell is. So what is this spell for? This spell is for those of you guys that either have been broken up, there's been some type of separation, some type of distancing, whether the partner uh, has been growing cold, not really communicating with you, whatever the situation is, there has to be a bond between you two. So when I say that, as an example, um, do you have to, uh, should you have been dating this person before you do this spell? Absolutely not. As long as they are aware of who you are and you've been around them in any circumstance or situation and they've acknowledged your presence or they know exactly who you are, then yes, you can do this spell. It doesn't matter if you've dated them or not, but there has to be some type of build of connection there. It doesn't matter how... Uh, superficial it is. It could be a high and by as long as they know who you are. I feel the need to tell you guys this because a lot. I get a lot of emails of uh, clients or not clients, sorry, peep subscribers um, emailing me and telling me, you know, I did the spell. I did it, you know, word for word and I didn't get results. And then they tell me that the person doesn't know who they are. You have to keep in mind that when we do spell work, you are combining your energy and their energy you're pulling their energy so if there is no acknowledgement of you the results are not going to be great especially if you're doing it um so what i mean by that is even for even for professional uh high priest or high priestesses uh, that do this type of work uh, we always, you know, encourage the client before doing any type of spell work that there has to be some type of connection um, or some type of acknowledge of your existence. Uh, if, if, you know, if that wasn't the case, then anybody would be able to attract, um, you know, I don't know, something crazy like an artist or, um, I don't know, I get these crazy emails of like uh, actors or whatnot, like, you have to understand that there is, um, in, in, in witchcraft, in general, it doesn't matter the type of practice that you do, it is about energies, and it is about the manipulation of energies to, to get a desired outcome. But there has to be some type of connection. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter how superficial, it could be your neighbor, you just say hi and bye, but they know who you are. Then obviously, there is already a energetic connection there um, versus not the person having absolutely no idea who you are. Uh, do you see what I'm saying? So again, is it possible to do this on people that you don't, that they don't know who you are? Uh, yes, but the outcome is going to be much more longer. The process is much more longer. It is, uh, to be honest, very exhausting type of work. So um, if you've worked with me in the past, then you already know how I do. If it's a connection where it's very superficial, I warn the client, I rarely pick up cases like that only because they're ha we have to use common sense is basically what I'm saying. And I feel the need to clarify on my channel because I get ridiculous questions or questions that are just, they boggle my mind. Um, I understand that not everyone is able to understand certain things, so I'm trying to make it as simplistic or as clear as possible. Anyways, let's get into the work. Like I said, if there's been some type of separation, some type of distancing, um, if you were communicating with them, this could have been just a regular person that you were like casually dating, um, or if it was like a sexual type of friends with benefits, you can also do this. Um, if there was a breakup of separation, you can absolutely do this. So for this spell, what is the what does this spell bring to you? It's going to bring a situation that is going to arise where you're going to physically be brought together. So it could be that you bump into this person. It could be that they reach out and they want to see you. It could be that they show up at your doorstep, anything like that. But what it 
the the basically the um, purpose for this spell is to draw them in in a physical aspect. So again, uh, if you've been, you know, as an example, you broke up and there hasn't been any contact on their part, you can do this. They're going to reach out. They're going to contact you. But there is an element of need and desire to be with you or around you in the physical aspect. So again, if they know where you live, they might show up um, or you might casually bump into them somewhere. I wouldn't say casually, but uh, on the, from their perspective, it will be casual. Um, but in reality, you know that it's the outcome of the spell work. So again, like I said, it's very simple. All you really need is a white piece of paper, a red or black marker, honey, preferably if it is organic. It could be any type of honey, but um, I think the element of uh, purity uh, really amplifies this work. You're going to need some cinnamon, any type of cinnamon, uh, preferably powdered cinnamon, and a plate or somewhere where you can put the paper, okay? And you're going to need three candles. So we're going to be using, um, I find that tea lights are amazing and they give very like surprisingly they give amazing results in comparison to taper candles or to uh, votive candles um so again you can use tea lights you can use votive candles it doesn't matter but they have to be able to burn um in a day rather quickly so i go with the tea lights like i said they give amazing results and you're going to need three because this is a three-day ritual so with that being said, those are the only ingredients that you need. Now, if you really want to amplify and boost this work and get amazing results and bump into them or have them reach out to you as quickly as possible, you may use some love oils. We're going to be using Adam and Eve. That is my go-to for this specific spout. You're going to be needing some type of holy water. It could be holy water from the church. If you can't go to church or you're not a, you know, Catholic or whatnot, consecrated ritualized water. Okay. It could be moon water as well. It gives the same results. Now, you guys know that when we're talking about spell work, or if you've been watching me for a long time, you know that holy water is the go-to grail. I'm not going to lie when we're doing witchcraft because it gives amazing results. It is consecrated. It is ritualized. Aside from that, when I get the holy water, I ritualize it specifically for specific um, specific workings. Like this, this bottle is specifically for love workings. Um, and it just amplifies that type of energy. It boosts the energy. It empowers the work. Uh, and it just gives amazing results. Okay. You're also going to be needing some type of uh, some type of incense for this specific spell. I find that burning lavender or rosemary is amazing and a black candle. Now, like I said, you don't need the holy water. You don't need the incense. You don't need the love oil. But if you want to empower this work and you want to get very quick and fast results, I encourage you to integrate those into the spell work and you're going to be amazed. Now, I'm not saying that you're not going to get results if you don't have uh, or if you don't use the holy water, the black candle, uh, the rosemary and the love oil. That is just what I've integrated in this work uh, that I've come to realize that it gives faster results, quicker results. Uh, people are often amazed at the results. Uh, and they're kind of freaked out, to be honest. <laughs> if you're a client of mine and you're watching my channel, you already know how we do. Uh, I get, you know, clients all the way, all the, all the time telling me, you know, you're scary. Uh, you're scary in a good way. So anyways, um, like I said, it's going to give you amazing results. Now, the black candle, uh, if you know anything about um, ritualizing or consecrating and make sure you do that. Uh, and the reason why we're integrating the black candle is because we're empowering the work. This is a uh, element of domination uh, for this specific uh, work 
this is the candle that I use. But like I said, get a black candle. If you don't know how to ritualize it, I encourage you to cleanse it with some incense. Put, uh, put your hands over it. Let me show you. Put your hands over it and ask the spirits to be present, uh, whatever deity you work with, to empower uh, so that this working or this candle may be empowered with a dominating element and for protection as well. Now, you can always do uh, sigils on the side of it, which is what we did. Um, if you don't know about sigils, um, anything really that would signify to you protection or love. It could be hearts. It could be uh, a heart with an arrow. You know, you're the arrow dominating his or her heart. Um, you can always integrate that. You have to understand that there are certain elements in spell work that when I tell you guys to do specific steps, it is to give you those the results that you're looking for. But a lot of the practice has a lot to do with your energy as well. So like I said, with sigils, if you don't know how to work with those, anything that comes out of your heart that you feel is a representation of what you're doing or what you're trying to attract, that is what you cast. That is the sigil that you will be working with or using to empower and enhance your work, okay? All right, so let's get to the nitty-gritty before everyone starts uh, commenting in the bottom that um, I'm talking a lot, which I do. I talk a lot, you guys, because I am not about to teach you guys to do something uh, without really knowing exactly why you're doing what you're doing. You see what I'm saying? So give me one second. Oh, crap. I'm getting the lighter. Give me one second. I'm going to get some matches. Okay, so like I was saying, you guys, um, yeah, I get um, I get uh, comments all the time of people saying that I talk a lot in my videos, which I believe that's the fucking point. Uh, my channel is not just to tell you what to do and blindly asking you to trust me or believe in me. Um, no. What I'm doing this for is to teach you. That is my ultimate desire. Like I said, if you've been working with me for quite a while, you already know how I get down. And, you know, clients all the time. Uh, I have clients that have been with me for over 10 years, keep coming to me. And, you know, I always try to guide them when doing the work, I try to guide them through it. I try to give them the knowledge so that ultimately they can get to a point of knowing their power and no longer having the need to come to me, but to learn and to learn to do, to learn to make things happen for themselves. You know, so again, my channel is not just to teach you something and have you blindly follow that. No. Uh, my channel is to teach you everything that I've been taught throughout the years, working with different, you know, covens, working with uh, different practices and bringing and integrating all of that knowledge and all the experience to ultimately give you the tools to be able to co-create the type of life that you want. Uh, so again, if you're one of the ones that minds me rambling, then the fuck out of my channel. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to light the candle like you guys can see there, the black one. Like I said, if you're not doing the black candle, the holy water and the oil, then you skip those those steps. OK. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get either black or red marker. I prefer to use red if it is a with the intention um, that you genuinely want or not want, sorry, that you genuinely love this person, you're going to be using red. If it's, you know, a situation where you want to get to know the person better and figure out if you guys are good together or see if they're willing to put effort, if you give them that extra push, then you're going to use black. But in this situation, as an example, we're going to be using red. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to write down partner's name. last name and date of birth okay so 
So it's going to be the partner's first and last name, their date of birth. Once you have that, what you're going to do, and this is very important, you guys, you're going to write your name. your date of birth in a circular motion date of birth and you're gonna write down your name seven times and your date of birth it cannot be more than seven it cannot be six uh, pay attention to what you're doing in this process it is crucial I cannot tell you um, when you're doing this type of spell, there are energies that you are working with. Um, so again, I'm not going to go into that, which are uh, what we call spirits of this espero. I'm not sure how you say that in English. Uh, restless spirits. There you go. Thank you, spirit. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, DLB, and seven. So the reason why we're using seven is because seven is a very spiritual and powerful number. It is connected to soul uh, number, and that's the reason why we're using seven um the number seven and in a circular motion is because you are surrounding this person you are closing in on them so that you can bring them to you or so that you can bring yourself to them by again bumping into them uh going somewhere unexpected uh random where the spirits um the restless spirits are going to bring you guys together to give you that that connection or that communication that there's lacking, okay? So that's the reason why we're doing the partner's name, first name and last name, their date of birth. Now, if you don't have their date of birth, it's okay. You don't need it. It is not necessary. Without it, you can still do this spell. But does it give you grander results? Absolutely, if you have their full information, okay? So you're going to put the partner's first name, last name, date of birth, and then you're going to go around their name with your name and your date of birth. And we're going to do this seven times. So you're going to put your name, first name, last name, date of birth, first name, last name, date of birth, first name, last name, date of birth, like you guys can see here. Okay? And it's going to be in a circular motion going clockwise. Okay? And like I said, the reason why we're doing this is because we're drawing them in, we're closing in on them so that we can either bring them to us or put ourselves in a situation within their physical, um, where they're physically at. So uh, again, the reason why we're doing a seven times your name is because you're closing in on them. That's what we're doing and that's the reason for it. Now, like I said, Depending on the deities that you work with, this is the moment where you would call on them and you would ask them for protection. As an example, I call upon my spirit guides, my wise and loving spirit guides, my ancestors and archangels. Please step forward, San Simon, because I work with him. I ask you to be present and remain to my right so that you may guide me, empower me, and strengthen this work that is about to commence. Then you ask the spirits of Desespero. I call upon the restless spirits to please step forward and assist me specifically. Now this is important, you guys, specifically for this working that I'm about to commence, to bring my love or to bring my person towards me, okay? Specifically, you need to say that. Why? Because this is very simple spell, but they can be very mischievous. And if you don't make it clear that you want them specifically for this, this is their duty, they're going to start messing with you. <laughs> so again, be wise and mindful, okay? Specifically for this working. Okay, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to put the paper as such. We're going to add some of the holy water. Like I said, if you don't have holy water, that's okay. 
you don't need it specifically i use it to empower and enhance the spell but you don't need very much of it give me one second and then i apologize i know one goes i bless and cons oh I apologize, Spirit Guides. I was already getting ready to the needy greedy. And this is just an example, you guys. <laughs> okay. So this is where I would empower. Um, sorry if I'm scattered, you guys. It's been a very long day. Um, <laughs> I felt a knock on my shoulder like, girl, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. So once we're done with that, what we're going to do now is we're going to add a few drops of your love oil, uh, preferably Adam and Eve. Now you're going to rub this oil on the paper in a circular motion going clockwise. When you're doing this, put the intention. Really focus on your person. Picture yourself being or bumping into them. Uh, try to envision how they're looking at you and mentally or out loud call upon uh, the spirits that are present to assist you to guide you specifically for this working to empower and enhance the work to draw them close to you to bring them to you as quickly as possible okay so once we're done with that we're going to put that to the side you guys, I wish you guys can feel my energy, um, even if I'm just, you know, showing you guys and teaching you guys um, the energy. Is, they're like, tone it down, girl. <laughs> You're not doing it specifically for someone right now. Okay, anyways. So on the candles, what you're going to inscribe is come to me. And then you're going to sign your name on the me, meaning the last candle. Keep in mind, uh, don't get distracted. Uh, make sure that you can see what you've inscribed so that you know exactly what's the first one, the second, and the last one to use. Because the last one is me and your signature. All right, so once that is done, you can uh, add some oils here to these candles before working with them like i said it's a three-day ritual so you're going to light one every single day once we're done with that we're going to put that to the side now we're going to get to the dirty business because it gets messy you guys uh so what you're going to do is you're going to add some cinnamon now with the cinnamon you're going to be going around the circle where your name and the partner or target's name is. You're going to be rubbing it in a circular motion, like I said, imagining, visualizing that they're coming towards you. Uh, this is the moment where you're going to be asking uh, your spirit guides to help you enhance and empower this spell. Take your time when doing this. Take your sweet, loving time. When you're doing this, what you're going to say out loud is three times three you, and you're going to name them their first and last name and date of birth if you have it. Think about me. And then you're going to say again, three times three, you start to want me. Three times three, your heart desires me. And you're going to say their first name and last name and date of birth if you have it. Packed and conspire, it burns in your heart with endless desire. Okay? So I'll repeat it again, three times three. And you guys really put your intention when doing this chant. I can't stress that enough. Three times three, and then you, their name, first name, last name, date of birth, if you have it, think about me. Three times three, you start to want me. Three times three, your heart desires me. And then you're going to say their first name, last name, and date of birth again. Packed and conspire, it burns in your heart with endless desire. Once you're done with that, what we're going to do now is we're going to be adding some of the honey. If I can open this jar. And uh, this is where you would add the honey. You don't need very much of it. Uh, you don't, I just don't want to use it because it's not, um, I'm not specifically doing it for anyone right now. So I'm just doing this to show you guys. Um, so you put the, you put the honey. 
and you're going to twirl it around like I said going in a clockwise position with the cinnamon really rubbing the cinnamon and the honey together now this is very important you guys when you're done and you feel the energy you feel it empowered you're going to pick up your finger you're going to see something like this right the cinnamon and the honey and you're going to lick your finger this is important I can't stress that enough it may seem like nothing trust me when I tell you you're empowering this you're gonna lick your finger once you're done with that then what you're gonna do now is you're going to bring the paper towards you and you're going to fold it and then you're gonna turn it to the right and you're going to bring the paper towards you again. Like this. Turn it to the right. And you're going to fold it towards you. Okay? Really put your energy when doing this, you guys. Like I said, you guys are going to be amazed at the results that you get. Okay. So once we're done with that. What we're going to do now is we're going to get the tea light or the candle that you wrote come. That's going to be the first one you're going to burn. And you're going to put it on top of the paper and you're going to light it. Now, you're going to let it burn out completely. And then the next day, you're going to light the second candle that says two. You're going to light it, let it burn out completely on top of the paper. And then finally me with your signature on it. You're going to light it and burn it on top of the paper. Every single night that you're burning the tea light or the candle that you're using, it must remain on top of the paper. Try to stay around the work while it's burning. Once this is done on the third day and it is extinguished, give it from four to seven days to get results. Something is going to happen. Something is going to, um, something is going to unfold where you're going to be either drawn to them or they're going to be drawn to you. And when I say drawn to them, you bump into them. Or they're going to be reaching out, they're going to want to see you, they're going to show up to your house, they're going to be looking for you, that type of energy. You have to do this very focused when you're doing this. And again, the chants that I gave you, that's what you're going to chant. Make sure to use specific words that I told you because there's a purpose behind this. You only want these spirits to do what they're told. Nothing else. Once it is done, the connection is done. Do you see what I'm saying? So again, it may seem very simplistic, but it is extremely powerful. You're going to get results and you're going to be amazed. When you do this, when you get the results, come back to this channel, comment below and let other people know your experience. I hope that this gives you guys um, amazing results, which I know it will. And I can't wait to hear from you guys. We'll see each other soon. Till then, take care. Bye.